Hi guys, I'm the Cube Solver. I will be teaching you on how to solve a Master Morphix. It is a 3x3 shape mod, so you must learn a normal 3x3 first. It looks like a pyramid, but it is not solved like a pyramid. It has four colors. These are the centers. The centers have two colors. These are the edges. The edges are trapezoid in shape. And these are the corners. This is also a corner. The corner might have three colors like this one or one color like this one. Let's start with the first layer. This will be the first layer since that we will start with this yellow red center. We'll make a cross here. Okay, we need two red edges and two yellow edges. First, this is the top view. Now we'll face this side. Now we'll face this side. We are now facing the two centers that both have red on it. Reorient this two centers in a way that this three centers are facing the same direction. Like this one. In this case that I have, it is fortunate that these two red edges are already matched with the center and the center as well as here. Let's see if they are not yet solved like this. Well, we'll find a red edge piece that should be in here. Okay, let's reorient this two centers. Okay, should be matched up first with this one. Okay, what I will do is get it out of the way. Reorient the center piece. And let's try if it will be matched. Yes, it will be matched and we can bring it up. Now, the sad part is that it doesn't match with the center in here. Now you have to reorient this edge piece, reinsert it onto the other side. Okay, bring it back to the bottom first, get it out of the way. Now, earlier we insert it here from the bottom. Now we'll insert it on the side. Okay, push it up, can bring it up. It's done. Next for the another edge piece, okay, this one, we just have to reorient this centerpiece you may do trial and error okay no and reorient it once more okay now now it's already match up with the center and you can simply bring it to the top now we have already two edges done now we'll move forward to the other side which is the yellow side we'll do the same thing Reorient the centers in a way that they are facing the same direction. Now we are looking for yellow edge piece. Now this one is already in here. The other one. Okay. Now the same process will match this edge piece with this center piece. Okay. We reorient the center piece. Okay. It matched up. And you can bring it up. Now the same problem. It doesn't match with the center in here. Okay. Bring it to the bottom. Reinsert it on this side just like that and bring this side back of course now we're done we have the cross next for the corners we need two three colored corners for the places here and two one color corners for the places in here okay let's start with the one colored corners you can easily insert this since that it has no other colors to consider now. This is the yellow corner. Okay, you can easily insert this like that. The other one, red corner. Let's find that one. You can easily also insert this just like that. Now if the corner you need is inserted onto the other corner, you can easily get it out of the place okay and insert that onto its proper place next for the three colored corners now the corner piece should face you either at its red or yellow side now like this one this side needs yellow red and green edge piece now this is a yellow, red, and green edge piece. If it's facing you on its yellow side, face the red edge. This is the red edge. And do this process. Get it out of the way. Bring this yellow side down. Bring this corner back here and bring it up. Just like that. 
now moving on to the other side that is already corrected. But for example, in this case, if it's facing you on its red side, face the yellow edge and do the same process. Get this corner out of the way, bring this red side down, bring it back in here, and bring it to the top, just like that. If it's facing you neither red nor yellow, just like in this case, it is facing on its green side, just bring it to the back and to the front again. What I mean by that is bring it to the back, bring it to the front one more so you can bring this side back. Now, it's facing you on its yellow side. Same process, face the red edge, get it out of the way, bring this yellow side down, bring this corner piece back and bring it up. It is also applicable to the yellow, blue, red corner piece. If you have corner piece which is already at the right place, but not properly oriented like this one, we just have to pull it out and bring it back properly like this. Now it's facing the red side, face the yellow edge. Get it out of the way, match it up with the red side and bring it back. Now we're done with the first layer. Next, for the second layer, the process is also the same with the 3x3. Three three. If you see a lot of possible edges to use, you may use any of those. For example, like this one, this blue edge piece, there is also another blue edge piece. And another blue edge piece, you may use any of those three in here. So all of the edges that we need are trapezoid in shape. Okay, first, like this one. You should place it in a way where in the side nearer, should match the size of this this is the side near and it should match the size of this the upper side of the edge piece because if it will be in here the size of this side near will not match here because it's longer so it should be in here now face this side and since it is on this side it is going to the right okay down prime right prime down right face this corner piece down left down prime and left prime now this is another case where in the side near match this upper side which is both short now face this side it is going to the left down left down prime left prime face this corner piece down prime right prime down and right just like that now for this last one this red this red edge piece okay this is the shorter part of the edge piece and the upper side is also short now it is going to the right down prime right prime down right Face this corner piece, down, left, down prime, and left prime. Okay, what if for any reason an edge piece is flipped? We just have to use another edge piece to replace this piece and bring it back, provided there is no other right edge piece available. But in this case of green, there is two other edge piece available. So we may use this. Okay, apply the same concept this longer part matches this top side so now it is going to the left down left down prime left prime face this corner piece down prime right prime down and right for the case of the red side or maybe the yellow side there is no other substitute for an edge piece so we have to replace this one with any other edge piece and we may bring it back properly okay i'll use this one is going to the right down prime right prime down right now face this corner piece down left down prime and left prime now we may reinsert this edge piece now this shorter part matches this upper side which is also short it is going to the right down prime right prime down right face this corner piece down left down prime and left prime now we're done with the second layer next for the last layer i'll turn this puzzle upside down 
And for the purpose of algorithm, okay, I'll face this side. This is up, right, left, and front. Now we will make a cross also. Of course, you have to check if the edges are properly oriented. In a master morphics, there are always at least two correct edges. Here is the question. How to know if it's in the correct position or not? We have to match it with the center here. Any of these centers around. And it doesn't have to go well with the center. Now, if two edges match with the same center, okay, in this case of green, matches up with the center, let's try the other edge piece. It also matches up with the center. Then one of these two edge pieces is wrong. It doesn't matter which. You just have to face the incorrect one and do this algorithm. Okay, face this incorrect one. Same algorithm with a 3x3. Three three. Front, right, up. Right prime, up prime, and front prime. Now let's check. If they don't match with the same center, then you're good to go to the next step. Matches up with the center and the other matches up with this center. So more obviously, if the green side is correct, that means the same for the blue side. But let's still check. Okay, this one matches with the center and the other edge piece matches with the center here. Now you have the cross even though it doesn't look like it's a cross. Don't mind the center piece for now. Take care of that later. What if in this case wherein it matches with the center and the other edge piece also matches with the center but they are opposite to each other. Now face the wrong edge piece and do the algorithm twice front right up right prime up prime you may not do the f prime and f right up right prime up prime and front prime now can move on with placing the edges what if this is the case there are two correct edges so don't mind the centerpiece for now doesn't matter as of this moment, two correct edges are opposite to each other like this one. Do this algorithm. Face any of these two correct edges. Right, up 180 degrees. Right prime, up prime. Right, up prime, and right prime. Now the two correct edges are already next to each other. Now you have to face the one at the front and the other at the right. Same algorithm. Right up 180 degrees right prime up prime right up prime and right prime just turn it this top side one more and now we already corrected the edges but you might have this flipped centerpiece which is turned 90 degrees clockwise or counterclockwise in this case it should be turned clockwise now you just have to do this algorithm be aware where to face the puzzle face it wherein the place for the three colored corner piece is on the left. What I mean by that is this. This is the place for the three colored corner piece. You have to face it like this. Okay, you may also face it in here because this is a place also for the three colored corner piece. It is just the algorithm for making the cross. It just has to be done twice. Okay, front, right, up right prime up prime we don't have to do the f prime in f okay right up right prime up prime and front prime now you go back placing the edges but at least the center piece will not be flipped anymore so let's see this two are correct face and correct one at the front and the other one at the right okay right up 180 degrees right prime up prime right up prime and right prime just turn the top side one more now we properly place the edges but again you might have this flipped center piece but it is turned 180 degrees it's very easy to solve you may face any side and do this algorithm right up right prime up right up right prime up right up right prime up right up 
right prime up right up right prime up you just have to do that five times now it's done next we will place the corners if there are no correctly placed corner then you may face any side and do this algorithm i think there is no properly placed corner here okay you may face any side left prime up right up prime left up right prime and up prime now i'm sure that there will be one correct after that algorithm this one is already at the right place even though it is not properly oriented face this side wherein this right corner is on the right same algorithm left prime up right up prime left up right prime and up prime now if it's not yet still correct do the algorithm again left prime up right up prime left up right prime and up prime now it's done okay next we will now orient these corners we'll do it by piece just be very careful with this one i'll start with this one right prime down prime right down right prime down prime right down just repeat the algorithm if it's not yet still corrected don't worry about the other layers being messed up it'll be solved eventually as you go on with the process right prime down prime right down right prime down prime right down just move on with the other corner piece right prime down prime right down right prime down prime right down repeat right prime down prime right down right prime down prime right down now if all of the corners at the top side are already correct but the other layers are still messed up use another corner which only has one color like this one it only has one color and do the algorithm again right prime down prime right down right prime down prime right down just repeat the algorithm if it's not yet still corrected right prime down prime right down right prime down prime right and down and the top side now we're done if you manage to solve it leave a like in this tutorial tell your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to click the subscribe button thank you for watching